untamed and uncut. The horror happens just off the coast of Panama. Hi, Dad. The Schultzes are on a tropical vacation. On board the fishing boat, Bob, Stephen, and his sister, Allison. It's the trio's first deep sea fishing excursion together. The Schultzes are hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive black marlin, found only in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. They're strikingly beautiful and can easily tip the scales at 1,000 pounds. The marlin's trademark feature is its two to three foot long bill, resembling a spear. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And they are known for their spectacular fighting ability. The second time the marlin launches out of the water, it's horrifyingly close. The bill comes up. It jumps out of the water, turns, and then the fish lands uh, behind the stern of the boat, probably 25 yards away. The 600-pound marlin makes one more spectacular leap, threatening every life on the boat. It erupts out of the splash, and it's coming right at us. The fish just turned around, and its whole body just turned and came at us. I thought, I've got to get in the way in between Allison and this fish, because she won't know to get away. And then it, at the last second, it turns towards Stephen. And the marlin's deadly bill is shooting straight at Stephen's face. <laughs> Stephen tries to block the torpedoing fish with his arm, but the marlin's spear-like bill stabs into his mouth. As it thrashes from side to side, the angry marlin slices the back of Stephen's throat and tears up the inside of his cheek. Thankfully, the deadly bill pops out of Stephen's mouth when the marlin's body crashes on the side of the boat and flops back into the sea. Oh, my God, oh, my God. But the damage is done. My heart dropped, and I thought that he was going to die. Stephen is hurt and bleeding badly. I'm pretty lucky and pretty fortunate that didn't actually hit me too badly. I don't even have any scars to show for it, so I'm very fortunate. The fish was coming at me. I was still trying to reel it in, so I wasn't really focused on maybe it hitting me. And I'm like, oh, no, this is actually going to happen. And next thing I know, I'm on the ground. The bill went straight to the back of my throat, broke my nasal cavity, and then came out the side of my cheek. It truly is a miracle that he wasn't killed, honestly. There's no doubt in Bob's mind what saved his son. The chest of the fish struck the back edge of the boat and slowed that fish down for a fraction of a second. If that fish wouldn't have hit the edge of the boat, it would have killed him. Untamed and uncut. Only on Animal Planet.